information and I noticed an uh, interesting thing I would like to share with you. Here is a just a brown rice, rice 149, organic. It's, this price always is not on sale, two years here, price always 149. And I just noticed another rice here. It's germinated brown rice for four ninety nine. So you have to pay extra three and a half dollar for somebody who just soak your rice for a certain number of, of hours. So I noticed there also other stuff like nuts and seeds germinated so for much higher the price. So I thought it's funny to to show so how people can pay extra for even for, in my opinion for no no reason it's not difficult to so soak in water your rice and then cook it <laughs> you cannot eat it raw you have to cook it both way thank you I'm going to go over the reasons for soaking grains and how to soak grains. So let's start with number one here, reasons for soaking grains. They're also known as seeds. Uh, seeds as the idea that uh, the plant can create another plant. So these are uh, the reproduction mechanisms, uh, elements of the plant, uh, so that it can create another plant. And being that, they uh, need to protect themselves, so they need to uh, reduce and avoid digestion from other animals. And it also needs to hold off on germination. So it needs to have the seed and grains wait until the temperature and moisture is almost ideal so it can grow a new plant. So these are uh, mechanisms that are built in to both protect itself and hold off, leave it in kind of a suspended animation until uh, the elements, temperature, moisture, are ready. I believe they have even had, uh, it can hold off for a very long time, almost indefinite maybe. Uh, they have uh, taken grains, I believe, uh, found in the pyramids and uh, sprouted and grown seeds that uh, are several thousands of years old. The first reason for soaking is to again reduce the anti-nutrients and the enzyme inhibitors. Those are the things that uh, the enzymes will start to process and let the growth process begin and so they're, they stop the enzymes from doing their job, basically uh, putting them on pause and we need to reduce gluten and poisons uh, like phytic acid. Second is to increase the nutrient bioavailability of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, which are proteins and phytochemicals. Phyto in the first part of that word is uh, indicating plant. So these are plant chemicals and of course uh, we're focused on the good chemicals that are in the plants, uh, increasing those. How to soak your grains. So this is the second part, how to soak the grains. And it's very simple. There's uh, five main elements to focus on here is the soaking medium. It's going to be uh, water, of course, clean water. Hopefully you have, a, uh, have either gotten filtered uh, water or you have a home filtration water system. And the soaking time. Now these are not written in stone. Uh, the recommendation is 12 to 24 hours. Again, you're not spending a lot of time standing over these like you're cooking on a stove. You're just setting it aside and walking away. I mean, the whole process is nearly a few minutes of your time. Uh, but the soaking is done without your attendance needed. And the temperature ideally is between 90 and about 110 degrees. If it's below that, then of course the time for soaking is probably going to be increased. Grains are different, different types of grains, different types of seeds. Today we're focused on rice and you want to change the water about two to three times. Uh, usually we do it about once. We found not a problem with that. Uh, depends on where you're getting your grains. 
be careful because uh, there could be mold, fungus, bacteria, and the adding water can uh, make those grow. So smell your water, check your water, and uh, change at your at your own risk. Um, it is not a problem to change it more than three times. That's not a problem. Uh, definitely change at least once. And uh, lastly here, the indications of readiness. It will be an increase in size of the grains uh, because it'll be taking on water and a color change, uh, which I'll go over in a later slide here. And you might see a tiny sprout. Okay, so let's go over these again. Simple, just soak in rice. I mean, soak in water, soak the rice in water, your grain or seeds. And that's it, just add more water than is the amount of grains. 12 to 24 hours, pretty simple. It's an easy to, you know, it may be eight hours, it may be 20, 30 hours. Uh, so it all depends on the later factors that we'll uh, cover here. Temperature, again, 92, about 110 degrees. Uh, some people put them in uh, little warmers. Some people just set it on their counter. Uh, some people have uh, rice cookers that have a built-in uh, soaking mechanism into them. They, they just have it on a very low temperature and then after, say, a certain amount of time, and uh, I don't even think that people change the water in those. And uh, again, two to three times. We have done it uh, usually just one time. And uh, so again, when is the rice ready? It uh, usually, it'll be a little bigger in size, pretty hard to see uh, since rice is kind of small, but there might be a color change. Uh, these uh, rice grains, seeds that you can see here, have a white tip on them, many of them, not all, of course, are going to have the white tip. Not all of them are going to germinate it and grow at the same speed. And then there might be a little tiny sprout coming out of the uh, same end that will be white. Again, here's the review. Water, 12 to 24 hours, uh, 90 to 110 degrees, at least one time, two to three times. Ideal for changing water and the three indications that the grain is ready to be sometimes consumed, uh, depending on what you're growing. Uh, rice generally uh, needs to be cooked and heated at a high temperature for a while to make it soft enough. And uh, there you go. Happy soaking.